Is this on? Hey guys, this is the third installment of Scream School. Welcome. This is for the guys and girls who watched the first two videos I had, part one and part two. If you haven't checked out part one and part two yet, please go do that because this is building from what we had explained in the first two videos. All right, lesson five, jumping right into it. Inhaling. Um, talking about inhale screams, never do it. The reasons, well, number one, if you think about it, inhaling is just a noise. It's not projecting anything. It's just the opposite of that. Screaming is just like singing. It's projection. When is the last time you heard a singer who inhales to produce their notes? Never. So that's a big reason why you guys shouldn't inhale. Reason number two. Sure, it might sound like screaming, and it might sound real through a PA and a microphone when you're cupping it, but the legitimacy of that is extremely low. In my opinion, it's sort of the easy way out to screaming. It's sort of the easy way to quote unquote sound good. To me, it's like a bootleg version of screaming. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about is whisper screaming. I personally have no idea what that is. If it is what I think it is, please don't do it. Everybody needs to stop making bootleg versions of screaming. The next thing I'd like to talk about really quickly is water. For those of you who go to record or practice every day, you know that water is very essential. Or even those of you who play shows, you know how important drinking water is. It keeps you hydrated. It keeps your larynx and vocal cords hydrated. Speaking of the the larynx, for those of you who don't know what the larynx is, it's your vocal box right here. Your Adam's apple is the cartilage around the vocal box. Inside of there, there's only two things I want you guys to worry about. That's the vocal cords and the false vocal cords, also known as the vestibular folds. What you guys need to learn is to control the larynx. Before I move on to lesson six, for those of you who are watching and are worried that you cannot see your Adam's apple or your larynx, don't worry if it's not visible. For girls who can't see their Adam's apple, don't worry, it's still there. For guys, it just happens to be much more visible. Like, I'm pretty sure you could see mine right now. All right, lesson six, talking about moving your larynx, changing pitch. So if you watch the first two videos, you kind of have a basic understanding on how to scream. I'm gonna show you how to change your pitch of your scream now. And the larynx is one of the things that you need to control to learn how to control your pitch. When you go to swallow something, your larynx moves down naturally. And if you're singing, you know that if you sing a high note, your larynx will move up, and if you sing a low note, your larynx will go down. The same thing goes for screaming, except that we don't care about the technicalities of it. To get the full effect of learning how to control your larynx, here are two examples that I want you guys to do. Grab an apple, or an imaginary one if you're cool like me, and pretend to bite into it, or if you have an apple, bite into it. And when you bite into this imaginary apple, you'll see that your larynx will move down when you try to go for the movement of biting. That's the same movement that I need you guys to learn. It's the muscles in your neck that really controls how it moves up and down. So go in front of a mirror and try to control it. What I mean by controlling it is by doing this. Just get that simple movement down. Controlling your larynx isn't like controlling your biceps. It's a very subtle muscle movement that I need you guys to learn. That's why it's not very easy to control. The next exercise I would like to show you guys, I know I don't ask you guys to sing, but in this exercise, you might need to. I want you guys to sing a scale. I'll play it for you right now. Descending. Now, I want you guys to sing that, if you watch, your larynx will go up when it ascends in the scale and down when it descends. So basically all I'm trying to tell you is to gain control of this. If you can move this naturally, then great, you've got it. This is what you get when you learn how to breathe properly, project, distort, and now control your pitch. <laughs> Alright guys, well, that's it for this lesson. Again, the yellow sign never fails. Please visit www.etiensen.com to get this lesson in mp3 format for your iPods. Please sign up to my newsletter. You'll get access to a lot of free stuff. Also, please check out my latest music videos. It'll be at the end of this video. Check out my video blogs and whatever else I've got going on over there. Please feel free to leave comments. Feel free to hit me up on Facebook or YouTube. You guys better remember to practice. I hope to see you guys in video number four. So please check that out next month. I think I'm done.